I grew up in an agnostic family, nothing ever very serious. I didn't really think about religion all that much. I went to uni and I studied philosophy, so I did think about religion a bit more then. I really enjoyed uni, really probably too much. I had a lot of friends and had a, like a lot of lovely friends and had a really great time, but very much kind of lived in the present, was a bit, uh, bit chaotic. I had quite a bit of a rough time like with mental health. Yeah, it was just quite a turbulent period. I had a lot of highs, but then a lot of lows as well. I'd say I hit rock bottom actually about a year ago. So Hannah, like my best friend throughout uni, she's always been Christian, she's brought up Christian. It was just something that we were different about. I never was that interested. But then after that real low, I definitely started questioning it more and then questioning her and was like, so like, what do you do at church and how can I join? And I think that's when I kind of looked for a bit of a bigger answer. I was on a night out and definitely had one too many drinks. And I was like, Han, so the whole religion thing, like how, how do I get involved? And she was like, well, there's this thing, this alpha. She was like, do you want to come to church? And I was like, yeah, why not? Like, it'd be fun. But it was very impromptu. Uh, and that was the first time I went to Sparks. I didn't expect church to be so informal and welcoming. Like, I think at school, it was always very high church and hymns and prayers and, you know, and it was quite formal. Whereas St. Mark's was so friendly. I just remember thinking like, wow, that felt really good for my soul. Like felt really like uplifted when I left. And I was like, wow, this is like free therapy. Like it's so great. And like, why isn't everyone doing this? And then we went to Alpha for the first time. I think we all came with our own big questions and it was a really diverse mix of people. I was at home for that period at my family home. And it was weird. I felt really exposed bringing that part of my life into my family home. My whole family is now more involved in like, my mum watches, she like tunes in and watches the service and live stream now, which is so mad. And I don't think had Alpha not been on my laptop, had I just been going, um, I don't know whether that would have happened. One week we talked quite a lot about prayer and I remember praying for the first time on my own and actually it was massive and I really felt a connection with God and it was huge for me. I feel now that when I'm having a really rubbish day that there's something else I can turn to. Whereas before I just felt a bit like, alone and the world is a bit of an abyss and crazy and mad. It puts everything into a bigger perspective and actually this is just one rubbish day and everything is good and everything is going to be fine and kind of I just feel a lot more secure. I'm so glad that someone showed me to it that, that I got invited to come and do it. For anyone thinking of doing Alpha I would just say definitely do it. Even if you went into it so sceptical and you think okay this is a load of rubbish it's not going to do anything for me you haven't lost anything by doing it and you could find that actually it is the answer for everything that you've been looking for.